Hello and welcome to Winslow Academy. This is part 12 in our network's basic tutorial. In this lecture we will talk about authentication. If you haven't yet watched the 11 previous parts, I recommend you to do so because this and the coming lectures is going to be very difficult for you to understand if you haven't get the full understanding of how networks work and where exactly we are in this entire map of networking. So, what is authentication? Authentication when it comes to networking is a very important aspect because when we are using authentication we are actually proving who we are so we are using authentication whenever we are logging into something or whenever we are encrypting some data because we need in the end to prove that we are who we say we are and we can't just tell a computer that well I'm the administrator and then the computer will ask are you really the administrator and then we'll just say yeah I am and then we'll just say okay fine I believe you we need some solid methods that allow us to authenticate and these need to be bulletproof such that the wrong users can exploit them and exploit uh, the fact that they are not uh, administrators and get access to something that they're not supposed to so when talking about authentication, there is a word that is especially important, and that is the non repudiation And we will get in closer into that in the coming lectures where we are starting to dive into uh, encryption and certificates and the more technical stuff of how authentication is actually used in networking. We have touched a little upon it in the previous lectures where we briefly have mentioned it from time to time, where authentication is used and how it plays along in this entire networking map but when talking about authentication it's important to understand the different authentication methods that we have and we actually have three factors of authentication known <coughs> at the present time so we have something that you have something you are and something you know these are the three basic ways that you can authenticate to anything this it does not only apply to networking but in general there are these three areas and whatever else you can try to imagine you can somehow also fit them into these three uh, main boxes so something you have that is for example an ID card or a physical token that you need to present to get access to something and something you are is for example uh, fingerprints and eye scanner or something that is uniquely to you as a person and then we have something you know which is our usernames and our passwords uh, the one authentication factor that is most known to all of us is the something you know because password and username has been around for many years and that has been the main way that we authenticated to something but we are now starting to see a shift where a lot of services is implementing what is called multi-factor authentication and when we are talking about multi-factor authentication it basically comes down to us using two of these authentication factors instead of one so whenever you are using two of these you are having multi-factor authentication for example you can have something you know your username and password that is one and then you need something else in the multi-factor for example something you have and that is for example your mobile phone you have your mobile phone so the service will also send a code to your phone number and you will need that code alongside your password and username or it could be when you are entering a building it could be something you know again a password and something you are your fingerprint in order to get access so these are the three factor uh, authentication that we currently have so when we are talking about web services and especially the way that web services and web you know, pages over networks have evolved in the last decade we are starting to see what is called SSO which is single sign-on that is especially used if you have played around with Google Apps once you have a Google account and you are logged into the Google account you basically have access to the Google Office Suite Google Drive, you have YouTube access, you have access to Google Analytics uh, and all the different applications that Google use and what is basically happening when you are authentication, 
authenticating to this is that you log in once and then the service is handling the uh, information transfer meaning that they will be sure to uh, prove that you have the right to enter a particular site based on what you have entered once and that's actually a pretty smart way of doing authentication because then you are not exposing your uh, password several times and you are not having the risk of someone getting access to that password each time you are logging in because you only do that once. The only downside of this is that you have to trust the server that you are doing this with because then the security entirely is up to them and if they can't keep your password safe when doing this transfer between apps then yeah you are basically out of luck again and your password can be exposed. But these are the basics of authentication and it is very important that you get familiar with these three authentication factors because these are the ones that we are going to talk about in the coming lectures where we are going into certificates, where we are going to talk about PKI, which is the public key interface, where we have a key alongside a password when authentication over a network. So I will see you in the next lecture.